today. Welcome to Life with Belsev. I'm your host, freaking Belsev. Today on the Belsev Show, I'm going to slip out for a bit and we're going to go for a little drive down the old shores of Lake Erie and see if we can't find anything for you to take a little drone action. So if you like the drone stuff, come along for the ride and you never know what else you're going to find. Let's get rolling here and we'll see what we come across. Well, I'm driving along here, don't forget to look at the bottom if you want to see what's on the road ahead of me. But anyways, while I'm driving along here, I just want to tell you a story. Yesterday, I took the Mavic Air, first one, up in the air, flying around, this and that and the other thing. Next thing you know, the full throttle and dicked right off on me. I wasn't recording at the time because I was just out for flight, not really able to capture anything. Just dicked right off. So thank God it landed somewhere and I was able to track it. But by the time I got to it, the battery was almost dead. So I wanted to play a sound so I could find it. But guess what? The battery died before I could figure out that. But I did end up finding it. If you ever lose your Mavic Air and the battery goes dead, you can still locate it just by going into flight history. Okay, it will tell you the last spot the aircraft was. But what a cock. So I don't know what's going on with it. Let me know down below if you guys have had the same problem with your Air, if it's ever decked off on you. Because it decked right off. It was brutal. Thank God it didn't hit nobody. Oh, wait. But it still works. You hit the throttle three times and then it just goes full throttle. So it's definitely a communication issue there with a the remote or something. So we'll have to do a calibration when we get back and see if that fixes it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of video. And maybe one day I'll be able to go full time with this kind of stuff. That'd be freaking decent. Maybe when I'm retired. Looks like up ahead here we might have a little spot that goes down to Lake Erie. So we're going to check that out and see if we can't get down near Lake and see what's what. And see if we can't get any video action. Nothing like a good pile of video actions. Nothing like a good clip of nothing. How's everybody doing today anyways? Make sure you leave your comments down below and let me know. And let me know what you're up to if you're not working right now. Things are starting to open up around here, so we're able to go camping, which was pretty freaking nice. It's been a while, but hey, when you're camping, you're freaking pretty much by yourself anyways, so I don't get why they cut that out, to be honest with you. So we're coming into Palm, Palmyar. Palmyar? Palmyar. Freak. I don't know how to say it. Where the hell is it? I'll palm you. I'll give you a palm. Yeah. And let's see if Siri will know. Hey, Siri. Hey Siri, say it. Whatever, we're past it. We're not there anyways. So where we're going to end up today is Rondo Bay. And have a little look-see with the old Dronarooski and see what it looks like. So if you like that kind of stuff, let me know. And it's going to be pretty freaking cool. Kind of looking forward. Oh, I can see the other side of Erie too, I think. Nope, maybe not. It should be pretty cool to see what's what and see something different for a change. Oh, freaking decent. We're almost there, Jim. So I found a pretty cool little spot here. It's kind of opened up right here, right to the Lake Erie. So I'm gonna take a little fly here, but just so everybody knows, I'm gonna run the uh, 16 filter because it's a little bright out today and if you don't run it, it's gonna look a little overexposed. So we're gonna throw that on and if anybody doesn't know, on the Mavic Air 2, you just turn it, Captain. Just take the camera and give her a little twisty twisty and she comes right off. Decent. And then you just put the other one on on a crooked angle and you twisty twisty. Perfect, that's it, that's all there is to that. Just in case anybody wanted to know. So we'll get that on there so we get a little sunglasses on for the old camera so we don't blind it, Captain. Because that's what we do. I am just sitting here in the middle of nowhere so hopefully nobody cares, but I don't really care if they care to be honest with you. That's what I do. So we'll get the remote fired up here. We'll get this fired up and this fired up. We'll set them out on the roof. Just normally set them up on the roof, Captain. We'll get some dronage in the airage. Take off from Mifted. Okay, check it. She looks mint. Oh, hold on. I cocked over all fucking light pads, all cocked. The home point has been updated. Okay. Please check it on the map. So I thought this was a pretty cool little area. It's pretty neat the way it goes straight across. So let's take a little flight down here to Erie and back and see what you think. Get some windmills down here and stuff, eh? We'll follow the street back. And we'll uh, we'll get close up to that one windmill and check it out. That's quite a ways away. Let's put it in sport mode so we can get a little bit more speed here. It's gonna take forever in that mode. I'm not sure if these wind turbines will affect my signal or not, but we're gonna find out, Captain. Still got full bars, and they are way over there, man. That's 800 meters away from me right there. 
check it out, eh? That's freaking pretty cool. Let's go up a little higher. Oh, yeah, we did. And there we go. There's a little shot for you. Here's a wind turbine that's hardly moving. Let's go over and say hi to him. Let's go around this wind turbine here and see if we can't uh, get a better angle to dangle. Watch the blades, Jim. I think we're nowhere near it right now. All right, so there we go. Now we've done that. Let's bring her back to the old Chevy Silverado, which is over here, Captain. Still 75% of the battery. Lost signal and signal. Signals like this a little bit right there. So I don't know exactly why, but it was. But we'll bring her back down to be safe. Coming right at my windshield, Jim. Oh, where's that wire? When you're doing this, you just want to make sure that you don't go out into traffic if there's a transport truck coming, because that would suck ass. We're gonna land right on the friggin' hood we are. The wind's a little friggin' strong here. There we go. Decent. Friggin' right is decent. So I went down this one road here, Beach Lane or Beach Road or something, and it's just blocked off. Look in front of me here, down here. It's just blocked off, right in the middle of the road. So I don't know if it's from corrosion, but uh, let's take a little flight down here and see why the road is closed. Maximum flight altitude reached. I know, hurry up and find home there, you crazy bastard, you. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There we go, now we can start recording we can. Ding! Decent. So let's go up first, get above this wire, and then we'll go take a, bring the old camera angle down here, and we'll go take a gander and see what's going on, boys, girls, peoples. Friggin' right we will. I know there's been a lot of corrosion around Erie, and I'm probably thinking that's why. Holy, look at all the birds following the drone. That's friggin' decent. Wow. There is actually a spot in Erie that's uh, friggin' corrosion free, but there's a problem right there. There lies the problem, Jim. That looks like she's corroded out to me. Let's back up and have a better gander at that, get away from the trees. Holy, look at that. That's freaking crazy. Yep, definitely a little erosion going on there. There is. Well, there we go. Now we know why the road's closed. We do. It's not that far away from where I am, really. A little bit. Let's fly back. Captain. Not very far away from me at all. There I am there, Jim. Beauty. Friggin' right it is. Can't do this without a drone, peoples. There we go, there he is, the old Chevy Silverado, so we'll land here, and then we'll carry on to our next destination. Friggin' right we will. One thing crazy about coming down this way, there's so many friggin' wind turbines, it's absolutely ridiculous. That's all you can see from miles, is wind turbines. Oh, hey. Hate to be them farmers in 20 years when it costs whatever it costs them to take them down. My God. This is what they call Rondo Bay. So if you look way over there, let me zoom in between the trees. See those trees? All from there, all the way along there, is Provincial Park. Okay, so on the other side of that is more Lake Erie. So that comes out like a peninsula, which makes this called Rondo Bay. But I'm gonna try to look over here. I don't wanna get this guy's house, but check out this friggin' water level here. How scary is that? I'll just go over until I see the edge of his driveway. Look at it, he had to build that up so the water doesn't get to his house. And that's his front porch right friggin' there. That's friggin' crazy. So they didn't take the drone up here because it's kind of a quiet little area and there's a lot of wildlife. So I didn't want to take the drone up in the air, but I wanted to show you this. That's Rondo Bay, Captain. So let's carry on, Captain.
Ontario we are, which is just a little peninsula sticking out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna go up here, find a spot to pull over for a minute, and I'll take off and show you. Because the only way to get really what's going on is for me to take off. Because it's pretty friggin' cool back in here. Ah, the joys of finding new stuff in the life, eh? One street coming up, one street going back. She's a friggin' beauty. Oh yeah, I'm definitely taking off here somewhere. So hang tight for that. So there's lots of people down here, so I'm just gonna go straight up, way up, give you an aerial view of where I am, and then we'll come back down, but I'm just waiting for the satellites now, and then I'll take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So there we go. Look where I am right now. What a beauty. Friggin' right it is. There's that peninsula I was talking about. Right, that's the old... Uh, Provincial Park over there. As you can see, it's uh, it's only got one access. Well, it's got two. It's got one right there too, I guess. But that's pretty awesome. Very, very nice place to have a gander. It is. So I'm at my maximum feetage by law. So we'll just have a gander, and I'll show you where I'm sitting, Captain. So, there's the beach, of course. This is like a square little angle of the dangle. So this is Erio, Ontario, remember. Little jet ski action out there. Bring it right there is. And then it goes all the way that way. And as you can see, we're surrounded in water except for that little access point right there. And there's Rondo Bay. Friggin' decent. There ain't nothing like a good Rondo Bay, Captain. Rondo Bay's pretty friggin' big. Like, look at the size of it. Holy. But anyways, I wanted to show you this. There's a marina. Look at the size of the marina in here. So you can come in here and you can gander all the way along there, Captain. Up to there. Friggin' right you can. What a nice little spot to have a little drone fly. But there I am right straight down there, Captain. So let's come on down and we'll carry on to the next spot we will. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Why wouldn't you? Oh, well, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed part two of the video there. And we're going to add some more later we are. As soon as we get situated, maybe go the other way in a couple days. But stay tuned, Mom and Mel went home for a couple days, so it's just me and the boys for a couple days. So we're going to hang out, have a bonfire tonight, and this, that, the other thing. If anything exciting happens, I'll show you. Friggin' right I will. But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for hitting the like button. I really appreciate it. But until next time, you know what to do for now.